Okay, okay. Gantenbrink. Finally, like it took like I don't know twenty videos <laughs> to make <laughs> to make it until until Gantenbrink. Uh, yeah, I really want to see how I do this. So um, <laughs> please, if I make any mistake, uh, because this is not an easy one, okay? If I make any mistake, please let me know in the comment section. If I'm missing something, please let me know in the comment section. This is going to be amazing. I couldn't wait uh, to do this episode, and this is not gonna be the last. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on the Scampinami project, the next one, and I think I'm gonna do a special video which is a recap video of all we learned on the Great Pyramid of Giza for the last 20 videos, okay? So, and I'm gonna do also another video with my own view on how the Egyptians built this monument, okay? As an architect, I have some clues, so let's, let, let's see. Um, but yeah, so no, okay, let's go through through Rudolf Gantenbrink. So let me just share my screen uh, in a second. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. Eh? Uh, Leo screen, here it is. And this is, okay. So this is a drawing from Maragioglio and Rinaldi, okay? 1965. And as you can see from this drawing, you can see there are two shafts here, the north, of the king's chamber and the north of the queen's chamber, okay? With two different inclinations. Now, there are also other shafts, the south of the king's chamber and the south of the queen's chamber, okay? So in these drawings, they didn't go to the trouble of actually go and draw the end of those south shafts. But what we can tell from this drawing is that these two, Marjorie and Rinaldi, they assumed that this air shaft, which is not supposed to be an air shaft, again, it's not an air, it was not supposed to have any ventilation through that, okay? It was just take this air ventilation and take it away. This was not meant to be a ventilation shaft, okay? Uh, because it was blocked here. But, well, uh, so, Mara Gianni Rinaldi in 1965, this is a drawing from 1965. They draw this air shaft, let's call it this way again, uh, but they just assumed that it was going to the outside. And they put a question mark here because this mouth was never found. And also the mouth of the south was never found, okay? Whether we know that the shaft of the king's chamber, the mouths, they were found, okay? So this is the reason why Rudolf Gantenbrink, this guy here, in 1992 had the idea. He was, I think he was working for the German Institute of Archaeology in Cairo. Uh, not sure, check me out. But he had an idea, let's just explore this shaft with a rover, with a, with a, with a robot, okay? Uh, and let's see where they lead. Let's see, because, and so what he did, he put this rover, uh, this Upuaut 2, uh, which probably was the second uh, the, the attempt. Um, so he, he explored the north shaft of the king's chamber, went all the way up, okay? He measured it. He, we, have, we have pictures and we have uh, the cut drawings on his site, which is not available anymore, but is under the Isida project site, okay? So he did this north shaft. He did this south shaft, all good, perfect, okay? Now the interesting things come when he put the robot in the south shaft here and went all the way up and at some point he found a blocking stone. But this blocking stone was not just a random blocking stone. It was found like this with two copper hooks or copper handles, okay? It's, they are called hop, copper handles, right? Now, there is no space for a hand to, 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 to put the fingers, okay? So it's not really a handle. These were not handles, okay? Uh, well, so he, he found this at the end of the south shaft. Now, what is this? Like, why? Like, is there anything beyond that door? That was the question that uh, Gantenbrink was left with in 1993. 
So beside uh, beside this, he also explored the north shaft of the Queen's Chamber. But since the north shaft was found to bend very much around uh, around this point here, okay, where it's you know, he couldn't explore the north shaft in its entirety. Okay, so he abandoned the mission of the north shaft. Okay. So one thing we ha we can say from from this exploration is that, given the, his drawings and given the information he gave us, the shafts are not that they're not accurate. They bend. They have uh, they have sliding like you they, you know they they bend. Okay. So they are not really consistent. So the whole theory of Robert Boval of the shafts like pointing to. I'm not sure about that, okay? Um, and I have questions about that actually, but this is not, like, this is really a lot to talk about today, so. So, now, Gantenbrink didn't make it to the end of the North Shaft, okay? Um, so, what happens is, okay, let's. Like, Gantenbrink then says, okay, look, I'm gonna make another robot which is gonna be able. To go around, you know, to, to, to actually make it to the end of the north shaft, and he he spoke with the Zahi Awas and said, "Look, I I can I I want to have like a permission to do this." And Zahi denied the permission, and uh, Zahi denied the permission, and then he was like, "Okay, look, I'm doing it for free. Okay, I, I just want to do it. I take it, take take like I I do it for free," and Zahi was like, "No, no." So. What happens? Uh, in, so this was 1993, okay? So skip 10 years after, so mm, 2002, okay? Uh, <laughs> here it comes. The National Geographic team led by Zahia was, uh, oh, sorry, this is actually the robot that Gantenbrink sent, okay? Uh, this is Upuat 2, okay, with the hieroglyphs here. I don't know why the, the name Upuat, if anybody knows about the name, the, the, the meaning of, of the name would be, would be nice. But how cute is this, right? How cute is this <laughs> robot? But anyway, so, so what happens? So National Geographic 2002 with Zahia Was, they decided to go up the south shaft of the Queen's Chamber, where the door was found by Gantenbrink, and drill and drill a hole in the door and drilling it dr 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 drilling it drilling and then putting a camera inside and see what's beyond because they might have found a chamber they might have found the treasure of Khufu right another chamber who knows what that was behind it and guess what they found <laughs> nothing <laughs> they found another space with another block and that's it. Now, the thing is that they didn't have, like the camera was not able to bend. So this was everything we got that night, okay? Was just, and this was actually live uh, broadcast on TV, okay? Uh, 2002, so, you know. So this is actually the image and there is nothing there, right? So they also sent this pyramid rover I'm gonna show you the picture. So this is actually when when they drilled the shaft, when the, when they they drilled the door. This is the pic this is the actual uh, pyramid rover. See National Geographic. They 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 sent through through the through the shafts. They also sent it to the north shaft. Okay, and um, and uh, and nothing. They, they, they basically they found another door with two copper handles again. Okay. So now, what happened after? After like, what is beyond uh, the? Um, so 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 let let's say this way. In two thousand and eleven, okay, a dentist from Hong Kong come to Egypt and knock the door of Zahia Was and say, "Look, I can build a robot that can go up the the south shaft, put a camera inside the hole, and." rotate so that we can see beyond uh, so we can see the back of the door and we can see in the floor the ceiling the, the sides so we can actually see if there is anything there right M more accurate m more accurately okay 
So uh, this is what they did in 2011 and they found this. This is what they found. This is the back of... So, so, so these two things, the, the, these four pictures actually, are the back of the... Um, of the... Um, of the door, okay? So I don't actually... like A should be actually the front, C should, should be the front, and then B the back, D the back, okay? So this is the back of the door. And they also found three hieroglyphs that apparently means 121. And that means, well, which correspond to the number of cubits of length of this south shaft. So whatever this means, they still have the red ochre painted hieroglyphs, okay? This is the first time in uh since the time of our wise so it's like well 100 more than 150 years that somebody found a hieroglyph inside the, the the great pyramid and this was 2011 okay 10 years ago um so but what about the north shaft so these guys went there they went in the south this they saw all of this but then they, 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 they also went up the north shaft. They took a lot of pictures. We have the pictures now because it's 2023. They released two years ago, the pictures. We have the pictures of the north shaft. We have the picture of the door of the north shaft. But we don't know what's behind that door still to this very day. So the mystery of the Great Pyramid is still with us. So this is the rover that was sent, this is actually, let me see, this is the south of the Queen's Chamber, okay? And this is the Jedi, the Jedi mission, okay? The, 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 the dentist of, uh, from Hong Kong. This is not the dentist <laughs> from Hong Kong, but this is the Jedi mission. They sent this rover up the shaft in the south and the north, okay? And uh, it, it was, um, also, it, it, it had a problem, so they had to go back to England, and, was, and then they got invited again to come back. And it was a, There is a video on YouTube, it's an amazing, like an amazing documentary about this mission, so please check it out, it's really amazing. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. So, uh, let's go back to the section, and so, you see this shaft, the north of the Queen's Chamber? We don't know. I mean, now we know that there is a door around here, around this height, okay, 21 meters above the floor of the of the king's chamber. So it's probably around, you know, about 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 here, right? Um, we don't know what's beyond that door. Um, so that's why we have the scan pyramid project. But well, yeah, yeah, that's why we have the scan pyramid project. Because the scan pyramid, apparently you can't drill anymore in the Great Pyramid of Giza. It makes sense, right? Nobody wants to drill anymore. Because we also know that uh, Gilles Dormion drilled some holes in the horizontal passage of the Queen's Chamber, finding sand behind the blocks. And apparently, who knows why there is sand there. Maybe there is a chamber there. It was filled with sand. Or maybe there is nothing. There is just sand. There is just filling this void, okay? So the, when Zahia Was says that the Great Pyramid is more like a, a Swiss uh, cheese with holes inside, he apparently is right, right? Uh, he, there are whole, a lot of holes inside. So it's not like full, full, full um, stone. So I mean, I think I, get, I did my best here to, um, to tell you what, uh, what Gantrenbrink did, what the shaft means and uh, yeah, I mean, why <laughs> my screen? <laughs> I'm such, I'm such not very professional with this with this uh, YouTube videos. Um, so so yeah, I think I get, I get, I, I I I gave you everything I had to tell you. Um, yeah, let me know what do you think about this whole story. Why was was Gantenbrink denied access? Yeah, probably because Zahi wanted to claim a discovery, right? Right or not? Like, prove me wrong, right? Why? Why denying access? Why denying access to, to somebody if he proved already to, to to be technically good and to explore the pyramid and stuff? Why? 
Okay, so this is everything, and I hope you have a good uh, weekend. Um, yeah, if you like to subscribe, to subscribe. If you like the video, like the video, and I see you soon. In the next video with the Scam Pyramid project. Bye bye.